Hey guys, Kendrick Dish here, founder of Shoot for Results and Kendrick Dish Photography. Uh, I got something right there. I bought it. It's the DJI Ronin M. I needed it for a real estate shoot that I have uh, this weekend, and so I'm so I bought it used on Craigslist. Got a good deal, and. Um, having a couple of issues right off the bat that I just wanted to my dog is drinking some water so he's making noise let's see hey buddy are you thirsty you want to say hi hey buddy Okay. So I'm having a couple of issues right off, right away, and I just wanted to uh, you know, talk about it for just a second. Um, one of the main ones. So for, I mean, after you know, I've been messing with this thing for close to two hours now, <laughs> and uh, keep making progress. But uh, I'm, I'm for testing purposes. This isn't what I'm going to shoot the real estate video with. This is a 70D with a 24 to 70. Um, but this is the camera I have handy to test with. Um, and this is the plate um, to, to put on it. But I don't know if you can see this, but if I put it on there and I tighten it down, I can't turn the zoom ring. And that's no good. And if I put it here, back here, where I can turn the zoom ring, then it sticks out and it blocks kind of gets in the way and it doesn't balance properly so what I need and I don't have is some sort of riser plate so I can separate this a little bit um, or a lot you know if I had a just a, a, a like a, do a, a nut or something if I had a longer screw but I guess partly because I'm using a 70d the 24 to 70 is such a large lens bigger you can see that it's actually bigger so can I can focus on it there we go ever so slightly bigger um, and that fuck that zoom ring is kind of important so I was actually going to try and use this as you know take it and use it have it in the bag as a backup to the camera I am using but I don't know if that's going to work or not now. So, anyway, that's problem number one. Um, problem number two that I kind of solved was since I bought it used, um, there was a password, a Bluetooth password, to connect the app to the device, which you need. And uh, luckily, the guy I bought it from texted me the password um, promptly when I asked him. But within the app and within the other thing, there's no way to reset the password. If you don't know it, that's it. You don't know it. <laughs> and uh, actually, I think I saw one thing online that said maybe it kind of works if you have a PC and you run the, the DJI software on the PC that maybe that would work. But I don't have a PC and that's a stupid solution anyway. So luckily I got his password and I'm just going to use that. Um, but beyond that, the uh, I've got the uh, got the remote charging right here. I've got the app on my phone, um, and I've got the uh, the Ronin that I'm about ready to you know I'm going to keep using it, so I'm going to test it out. Um, I've got the backup battery on the charger right here. And so, um, yeah, it's been a, it's been several hours, and I thought it would be quicker and easier, and that's without even actually trying to get this thing to fly. But that's why we that's why we prep. Uh, hopefully, I've got time tomorrow to make it all work. Um, so anyway, just wanted to jump in here. I'll keep updating with the status of this Ronin thing um, for you guys.